In this episode, I'll be featuring another Bruce Lee collector by the name of Steve Palmer, and we'll be featuring his very rare top 10 Bruce Lee collectibles, and it's coming right up. Hey guys, and welcome back to the Bruce Lee Collection for another exciting episode of Bruce Lee Show and Tell. In this episode, I'll be featuring a Bruce Lee collector out of Missouri by the name of Steve Palmer. And Steve has been collecting Bruce Lee memorabilia now since 1974. And I have to say, when I met Steve Palmer online and asked him if he wanted to feature some of his items on the show, I was really, really impressed with the short video that he sent me on his top 10 items because I, ha I have a feeling these may be some of the rarest items that we featured in a top 10 list thus far. So I think you guys are gonna really enjoy the video he sent me uh, on his top 10 collectibles. And when I asked Steve how he was inspired by Bruce Lee, because I love to see how Bruce inspired the lives of so many different people, he told me that you know how Bruce inspired him was to always stay mentally and physically healthy, which is something we all can relate to because Bruce Lee was the picture of health. Uh, also, to always give it your best in everything that you do and to put 110% into everything that you do in life and work and everything that you may do, give it your all. He also said Bruce inspired him to stand up for what you believe in and never to be afraid of going against the flow. And we all could relate to this because we've seen Bruce do this numerous times. He fought for everything he got in life and we see what the outcome was and he became the greatest of all time. So again, guys, I think you're really gonna enjoy this episode on Steve Palmer's very rare Bruce Lee collectibles. And instead of showing it to you in a picture format, uh, we're gonna actually show you the video that Steve has put together for us. And I know you're gonna enjoy it. But before we get to the video, I wanna mention two other things. Steve has two exciting websites that you guys have to visit. One is called Bruce Lee Was Here, and it's a website associated with all the places that Bruce Lee has visited, whether it was the hospital that he was born, the schools that he opened up in both Los Angeles, San Francisco, and Seattle, uh, Ruby Chow's, the different homes that he lived in in Hong Kong, in LA, in Seattle, the different restaurants that he has eaten in, and Steve has actually visited a lot of these places. Also in there, you're gonna see the college that Bruce Lee went to in, in, in Seattle, and many, many more places that I think you guys are gonna find really enjoyable. So make sure you check out his website. Also, he shows some very rare checks that Bruce Lee signed on this website. So I was really, really blown away from the website, and I'm glad I can bring to you this website so you can experience it uh, first hand as well and I'll make sure to put it in the description below. The second website I like to feature is a website called Bruce Lee Chinese Gung Fu Book. Now as you guys know I featured this book on a previous episode and this was one of the original books that I picked up many many years ago uh, and it's called Chinese Gung Fu The Philosophical Art of Self-Defense. It was one of the first, it was the first book that Bruce Lee has ever written and it's very very rare and very hard to come by but there's a lot of fakes out there. So Steve in this website actually shows you what the first printings look like. Uh, as we know there was only 500 printed. There was a second printing that came out uh, supposedly that another 500 books were produced and then obviously over the years there was a third printing, a fourth printing, a fifth printing, a sixth printing and Steve shows you all these printings so I think this will help authenticate any of these that you may have in your collection. So please check out Steve's website because it's an eye-opener, it's very educational and it gives you some really valuable information on authenticating this exciting book. So please make sure to visit it. And again, I'll include that website in the link below as well. But for now, let's enjoy Steve Palmer's very rare top 10 Bruce Lee collectibles. Enjoy.
Hey guys, and welcome back. Was that an exciting episode on Steve Palmer's top 10 Bruce Lee collectibles? I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I enjoyed it because like I said earlier, I think these were some of the rarest Bruce Lee items that we featured on the show thus far. So first of all, I want to thank Steve for sharing that beautiful video that he put together with myself as well as the other fans and collectors out there that I all know have enjoyed the video. Secondly, please make sure to thank Steve yourself. Let him know how you enjoyed the collectibles in the comments below. And also, I'd like to know what was your favorite collectible in Steve Palmer's collection? Let us hear about it. And let me know if you have any of these collectibles in your collection, because we love sharing this with the Bruce Lee community. And I know the Bruce Lee community loves seeing different collections that collectors have amassed over the years. So again, let's keep the channel engaging, let's keep the comments flowing, and let's keep this a lot of fun, guys, okay? Secondly, I wanna thank you guys for your loyalty thus far and for always participating in the channel through the comments. And for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please remember to subscribe to the channel. The next goal is to get to a thousand subscribers. And it's guys like you that keep this channel exciting and keep us going. So thank you once again. Also remember to like and comment on the video that we just showed. And until next time, Charles Damiano saying, have fun collecting.